So Konami recently announced a new digital Yu-Gi-Oh title called Master Duel, which has the potential to be the official online platform that the game has needed for years now. Have you guys ever considered some kind of an online platform, a competitive online platform for the TCG? Sure thing, we've taken a look into it. Um... Really wish I could tell you more, but uh, at the moment you just have to bear with me that we're, we've we've looked into it and it's an interesting concept we're considering. This announcement got me super excited because it also opens up the possibility of finally getting an official modern draft format, something similar to Hearthstone's Arena and Magic the Gathering Arena's draft mode. But what exactly would a Yu-Gi-Oh draft format look like? That idea is what this series is all about. Roll intro! Welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arena, a draft series where players build 30 card decks from a randomized selection of packs and then duke it out in a best of three match to claim the other's best card. To add to the chaos, all deck limitations have been thrown out the window. Managed to pull five copies of Pot of Greed? Every single copy can be played in your deck. Who will be the first to reach 10 wins and become the king of the arena? There's only one way to find out. Let the games begin. Alright, now seeing as this is the first episode, let's go over the details. Players will draft their cards from four different sets each week determined randomly by four different wheels. We wanted to cover as much of the entirety of Yu-Gi-Oh as we could rather than relying on singular sets, so the four wheels are categorized as follows. Wheel number one contains modern booster sets, so things like Phantom Rage, Flames of Destruction, Dual Power, anything like that from the last three or four years. Wheel number two contains older booster sets ranging from things like Legend of Blue Eyes all the way up to things like Duelist Alliance and Crossed Souls. Wheel number three is the Mega Pack wheel. This can contain any sort of Mega Pack from Mega Tins to legendary collections like Yugi's World and Joey's World. And finally, wheel number four is the Battle Wheel containing the three Battle Packs that were specifically made for draft formats. This wheel is basically there as insurance to guarantee that you will have some playable decent cards. Once all four sets have been chosen, players will then open five packs from each set that they were given and then craft a 30 card deck from the pools that they got. The winner of the match is entitled to a prize card. Much like the Rare Hunters from Battle City, the winner gets to look at the opponent's deck and take any card they want out of that deck to use for the remainder of the season. So going into the grand finale, at least one duelist will have nine prize cards in their deck consisting of the best cards they've taken from their opponent throughout the entire season. It's going to be a 1v1 style for this first season just in case there's any flaws that we need to work out, but after that if you guys do enjoy it and it does really well, then we can and turn it into a big tournament or maybe get other content creators on and just have a lot of fun. So hopefully you do enjoy it. If you do want to try it out with some friends then we'll leave links to the wheels in the description. But otherwise let us know what you do think of the concept in the comments below and if you do like it the best way to show that is to hit that like button as well. Now without further ado it's time to get things started. Our opponent for this first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Arena is my good friend and Discord moderator Nibiru. This will be complete chaos. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. This will be the most brain dead format on YouTube, but it's gonna be hilarious. Not only is the format brain dead, but we are also brain dead. So <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go do my wheels now. May your pools be blessed. You too, brother. You too. Okay, here we go. Our first draft. We have four wheels. We have the modern wheel, of course, the old wheel. This one has so many sets on it you can't even see the names. We have the Mega Wheel and we have the Battle Wheel. So first, we're going to start off with the Modern Wheel. For this format, I think it's really just going to be sort of like GOAT format where you want staples and high attack monsters. Dual Overload! Okay, shit. <laughs> That's a lot of Link monsters. That might not be very nice, but maybe we can do some sick combos. Alright, old set. What are we going to get? Legend of Blue Eyes. Legend of Blue Eyes. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Okay. Is that the set that has Magic Cylinder, actually? Or is that something else? That could be big. I can't remember. I don't know the contents of, like, most of the sets in the game. The issue I have with Dual Overload is that there is very little there in terms of cards you get out of the packs. So that might be a struggle, but we could make up for that with our Mega Wheel. I think most of the staples are in sort of, like, the legendary collections. We get Mega Pack 2018. Okay, not quite the nightmares. Is that the dangers or am I missing a year? I know this is the one that had Electromite and Saryuja in it, so that's more like Extreme Force and Circuit Break, I believe. Borrowload, maybe, could be something we get. But the Battle Wheel is, of course, 
the one that counts. I think Epic Dawn is definitely the best option here in terms of staples that you get. And we just missed it. Okay, Monster League. This is going to be very, very interesting. All right, let's go see what we pull then. All right, guys, it's time for my wield. I have no idea what is in most of these sets, so this will be funny. We, we start up with modern sets, everything after 2016, as, as far as I remember, so... What do we get? What do we get? Yo, we get Rise of the Duel. It's actually a very recent set, and a good one as well. I'm happy about that. So, uh, next one is Mega Packs. There's no point in taking this slow. And we get the 2020 Mega Packs as well, so super reason as well. Both of these sets came out this year, right? Damn, this is cool. All right, let's continue with the old sets. There is a lot of old sets, by the way. So yeah, you can't see the names on this. So this will be even more of a surprise. We don't even know what it lands on uh, once it is done, until it shows us at least. And we get Magician's Force. I mean, that's not recent at all because old sets, you know, this is very old. <laughs> all right, cool. So last thing is Battle Packs. And we only have three Battle Packs available. And I have no idea what's in them. I've never opened a battle pack, even though I played this game for a long time. But let's let's just see what we get, right? Let's just see. Okay, War of Giants. I think I've seen like two cards of War of Giants or shit like that. So cool. I would say we start by opening the battle packs first. Okay, here we go. Five packs of Dual Overload. Five packs of Labyrinth of Nightmare. Five packs of the 2018 Mega Pack and five packs of Battle Pack 3 Monster League. Honestly, I, I don't even want to start with the Dual Overload ones. We're gonna start with the Monster League and see what we get. So, uh, not gonna be totally familiar with a lot of the cards going on here. We're most likely just looking for the big beaters. So pack number one, nothing really sticking out to me. We have a 1750 beater, Evil Swarm Ketos. Mark of the Rose, Poseidon Wave. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Whole bunch of monsters here. Uh, 1600, 1600, 1700. Okay, we got Ancient Gear Knight, 1800. That's pretty good. We have a tuner, so if we pull Hulky Firebrax, then <laughs> we got some combos going. Pack number four, we got Call of the Mummy. Okay, Tutan Mask, that's a uh, spell or trap negate if I have a zombie monster, I believe. Skelosaurus, we got the zombie to go alongside it. It's also a 1700 beat stick, actually. And some other generic, I believe, cards here. And for the final pack of our battle pack here, we have, we got a rank three. Yo, okay, Wonder Wand, that might be pretty good. Typhoon, okay, okay. Definitely some interesting things here overall. Moving on to our Mega Tin Packs. Let's see what we can get out of here. Um, oh, Mech Knights! Mech Knights is really nice. Heavy Storm Duster. Okay. Wow. This might actually redeem us. Mild Turkey is a 2k booty. That's really nice. We have Kunk if we get some more Altergeist stuff. Okay, I'm really happy with a Mech Knight though. That's uh, I'm really curious to see if Nibiru is actually going to play around Mech Knights. Pack number two. What do we have? Underclock Taker, okay, generic Link 2. We have another Mech Knight, Green Horizon. This might be the way to go for us. Beckoned by the World Chalice. Set Rotation if we get uh, Field Spells. Personal Spoofing, we got Ningursu. That's uh, a decent card if we can make it. Pack number three, we got a Suryuja and a Silk. Another Underclock Taker there as well. Light Stage, maybe if we get like Candina, that could be really nice. And a bunch of FA stuff and some other stuff here. Oops, might actually be really good. Target one card, you- oh. <laughs> Never mind, I thought it was just target one card. Okay, no, that's horrible. <laughs> Pack number four, what have we got? What do we have? We got another Mech Knight, you love to see it. Purple Nightfall, okay, okay. Treasure Panda, another 2000 booty. Very nice. Oh my god, how many underclock takers? Just an underclock taker in every pack. More zombies. And we got a Raikou. Is this as good as the original? Absolutely not. Okay, that's unfortunate. Some pretty good cards there, I suppose. What what Connecticut Puppeteer if Nibiru happens to get a full-on Guard Dragon package? Uh, and for the final pack, we have another Mech Knight, please. Squib Draw. Okay, we got Majesty Maiden. Metal Rocket with Auto Rocket as well. And some not incredible cards here. But honestly, I think we can definitely work with this, in my opinion. 
So, uh, all right, Labyrinth of Nightmare. This is actually the set that Magic Cylinder came in. So if we can pull that, then, oh my God, the memes are already gonna begin. Starting off, we have Jam Defender, Lightning Blade. Could be nice if we have some nice warriors to go alongside it, hopefully. Haven't really been keeping too much track on the types. Nothing incredible sticking out at me here. We got a 1700 beat stick there as well. Garuda, but we kind of need wins for that. Pack number two, we got another Jam Defender. Okay, Fairy Box. Oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna be... Oh wow. Progression series. Here we go. Spirit of Flames. Yo, we got Satan. Okay, pack number three. Amazonus Archer. Okay, okay. We got a Fusion. Empress Mantis is a one tribute 2200. That's quite nice. Still no magic cylinder, unfortunately. Pack number four. Another Tornado Wall. Spirit Message N. A. Okay. <laughs> Flying Fish, Garbage, The Dark Door, no idea. Pack number five? Come on, come on, Magic Cylinder, please, please. Ah, oh, man, imagine. Never lucky. We got a second Fairy Box, though, that's cool. Earthbound Spirit, 2k booty. And Amphibian Beast, we got another Tribute Summon, 2400. So that could be, maybe, <laughs> our boss monster. Moving on to Dual Overload. This, uh, this is like one of the worst sets you could probably get in this kind of format. Let's see, what have we got? Yep, a bunch of links. Magic Formula, can we play that? No, we can't. Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, absolutely not. Okay, yep, just garbage there. Pack number two. We have Mecha Phantom Beast. Yep, Omega, don't think we're going to summon that. Yeah, just... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> this is just such a terrible set. We got Dingursu! But we don't have any means of making it. Dinomiscus is actually really, really nice. So, probably one of the best cards we could have got out of here. Pack number four. We... Oh my god, we got Impermanence! Yo, that's probably not going to be that good in this kind of format. But Impermanence, you know, sick pool, sign up mining. Man, this would have been a plus pack if this was in real life. And our final pack of our draft is a tour guide. We got Phantasme. Okay. Uh, Union Carrier as well. We don't think we're going to really make any of the links here. Phantasme. Really hit or miss on whether Nibiru is going to have any Link Monsters or not. Tour Guide, we could. I think we did pull a rank 3, so I'd need to look at that, honestly. So, very, very interesting selection of cards we have going on here. Looking like a whole lot of reading I'm going to need to be doing here. But, uh, yeah, I think... <laughs> I think we can maybe work with this. Oh my god. Okay, let's, let's see what we come up with. Alright, so five packs of each. And let's go. So, oh, we got a Plague Spare Zombie. That's actually a very good card. All right, cool, that's cool. Um, Zephyros, very nice. Three one Frog, I don't think I had that, got an Errata. No, Enchi is actually kind of cool in this because, like, it's flipping everything to um, defense position. So, we get some sort of interruption in the battle phase. Um, Photon Frag, like, that's a, that's a free summon. Wow, this is actually kind of good now. <laughs> All right, next up is, I think Zolga has a use, it has, it's in like a 1700 beat stick, like that alone is good enough, I guess. So, and last pack from the battle packs. Uh, okay, it shows me the full thing now, but, ooh, big bang. I think that does piercing damage and plus 400 as far as I remember. All right, cool, Magician's Force, very old set. But we can still get some good staples out of this, hopefully. Let's just flip all the cards. So, Poison of the Old Man, it burns and it heals. So we can maybe use that. I don't know what that does, but doesn't matter. Maybe we can figure something out with these. So, another Poison of the Old Man. Alright, Magical Merchant. Not too horrible so far. That has 2,000 defense. That already is, like, mm, pretty good. Maybe I'm skipping some of the cards, like, um, some of the good cards, because I don't recognize the card by effect instantly. So, we, I will read through all of them off-screen, obviously, when I'm building. So, yeah. My body as a shield is pre pretty good as well, as so far as I remember. I don't remember the full effect, though, so... Need to look at that as well. Ah, I, I, stay up there. Ooh, that's Koala. 1800 defense and it burns and we have Kaiser Colosseum as well. Ooh, ooh, this is juicy. Fitting for the first episode of Arena, by the way. So, <laughs> perfect already. 2020 mega packs. 
very recent, so there could be a lot of good staples. But there could be also a lot of staples we can't even summon, so we need to hope for the best. Okay, we got some Tenny stuff. I got the uh, Tenny link. Maybe we can get some Marinces for me. <laughs> okay, nothing too special though. <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. Dolly Safer might be good if we get something else that we can either search off of it or recover off of it. it still has 1800 attack, so might as well. Ooh, Redoer is good. We can summon Redoer pretty easily if we get like two level fours already. That's just. Redo or can be a win con. <laughs> I don't know how easy we can turbo out synchros on this. So we need to keep in mind that it might not be that easy. That is a free summon as far as I remember and that yeah, weird to use here. We got a charmer, so maybe we can utilize that. What else do we have? Ooh, no material. We got a tra we got a hand trap here. Yeah, nothing too special actually. The mega packs didn't work out too great for us so far. Maybe I skipped some cards in my mind and I, I just didn't recognize them. The last thing is Rise of the Duelist. So that's one of the new sets we have. Yeah, there we go. Rise of the Duelist. Let's hope for some juicy stuff. We can we can pull Ecclesian stuff from this. So any Dogmaticas and we are probably fine, I hope. Do we have Torrential Tribute? Because that searches Torrential Tribute and it could actually work out. We got a Melfi, so that's kind of cool. We got a Scythe and a Cruel Whale, so if we get a Fluffle... Oh, wait, there's... Are there Fluffles in this? I don't even remember. But okay, we got some stuff. More Melfi. <laughs> we can literally build Melfi with... <laughs> we got fucking four Melfi cards in this. Four, five, five. And we got a Wespinato, so that's actually... <laughs> that's actually insane for us. <laughs> what the hell? What else? Another Vespinato, so uh, another Melfi. We got Punishment. Or could we can t we can run two Vespinatos and then run Punishment to pop something with 25 or less. That's actually not bad. Oh wait, Cruel Whale also has more attack, so we can run that. So Cruel Whale would be fair game as well. I'm leaning towards Melfi right now, which is ironic because like Ryan is doing that in seal only. And yeah, all right, we s we we actually gone through them very fast and now it's time for deck building so see you in a moment okay so here is my 30 card deck list for this week and i think we've actually done the best we can for what we've been given obviously it's weird because this is the first time in this kind of format so i have no idea what the ceiling is for how good your deck can actually be nor do I know what to expect from Nibiru's deck. It could be literally anything. We've went with just a kind of sort of jack of all trades here, I suppose. We have some defensive cards, some offensive cards, you know, a little bit of everything. So let's get into it. We, of course, have our two fairy box, a Dinomiscus, which is probably the best card in the entire deck here as a decent form of removal. Heavy Storm Duster, we got some back row removal. Poseidon Wave is... Kind of just a negate attack, but if we control like an aqua or a fish, it deals damage. Magical arm shield can be good removal if Nibiru gets too far ahead. Impermanence? Oh man, it's it's a very good modern card, but in this kind of setting, it's probably not going to be too impactful. But having that additional column negate might be helpful. Offerings to the doomed, target one face up monster on the field, destroy that target. Also skip your next draw phase. That could be a pretty big downside, but we do need some kind of removal. Cyanet Mining is there primarily to search Launcher Commander, which can tribute itself or any other cybers on the field to destroy a monster. So Cyanet Mining is essentially in itself a form of removal. Graveyard of Wandering Souls is a token generator anytime one of my monsters is destroyed by battle. So this is essentially going to allow us to survive for a bit and get to our tribute monsters because the tokens can be tributed over. There's no restriction there. We have quite a few tribute monsters, but uh, the Mech Knights can be special summoned as well, of course. So Phantasme, not really sure if Nibiru is going to be playing any form of Link monsters, but you know, just in case. Otherwise, it is a 2 tribute 2400. Then of course we have our 3 Mech Knights here. It's so weird because in this setting, you obviously don't really feel the need to play around Mech Knights. But in this situation, we're going to punish Nibiru if he doesn't play around Mech Knights. It's, oh man, it's a real, real interesting concept we've got going on here. Amphibian Beast is a 1 tribute 2400. Also, we have Majesty Maiden, 
which synergizes with quite a few continuous traps we have here. So we can tribute over the fairy box, for example, to get a 2300 beater on the field. Four warriors we have here for the lightning blade because a plus 800 boost is huge. Two beckoned and one Jane just as 1800 beat sticks. And we also have the muscle medic as well, which is literally just a normal summon 2200 beat sticks. So that is huge. Speaking of normal summon 2200 beat sticks, we also have our tardy orc. Can't attack the turn it's summoned, but doesn't matter, it's still going to be hard to get rid of. And on the opposite end of Tardy Arc, we have the Go 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 Aristera and Dexia, which is a 2200 set monster. So that is a big booty that's going to be real difficult to beat over, I think. Then we have a bunch more 2k booties here. We have Lee with 2000 and Treasure Panda with 2000 defense, two Bit Trooper both with 2,000 defense but 1,500 attack if we do need to do some damage. We have Evil Swarm Ketos, which is a form of spell and trap removal. We have obviously the Launcher Commander, which is a form of monster removal. And then we have X Saber Airbellum, one of the weakest monsters in our entire deck here, but if we get a direct attack in, that's going to discard a random card from Nibiru's hand. So it's going to be very good in an advantage game, which I feel is one of the most important factors of this kind of match. 30 cards definitely felt right though. I think if we had to go to 40 then we would have been struggling. No side deck obviously and then going into the extra deck we have Omega which we can summon with Airbellum and a level 5 so literally Maiden and Airbellum is the only way we can make that. Ningursu probably never gonna come up. Saryuja probably never gonna come up. Triple Underclock Taker might come in handy if we can get enough monsters on the field to stick and Union Carrier can potentially constantly keep buffing up the same monster by a thousand every turn. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be fun. It's going to be chaos. I have no idea what to expect on the Beerus end. Oh man. Let's see how it does. Round one. Fight. So this is take two. We've already played the match, but the audio unfortunately got messed up. I won. 2-0. You got smashed, didn't you? You have no evidence. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I got my prize card, and now I don't have it anymore. So now's your chance to redeem yourself and possibly swing it back in your favor, I suppose. If you out my combo the same way you did last time, I will eat my foot. So we kind of like know each other's decks now, which kind of takes away from it a little bit, but screw it. It's going to be good. Screw it. Let's go. <laughs> do this. All right, good luck, good luck. First or second? Uh, yeah, I did that. Did there we go. Ah, uh, you're not making that same mistake again, okay. Okay. No, no, this is a start. Oh, wait, you're making me go first. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for it to move. Uh, so, okay. I will set one. Right. And I th think I'm... <sighs> yeah, I'll just pass there. Ooh, I get a turn, I like a like a free turn. This is where you just flip, I don't know, Mirror Force on me. I don't maybe, even remember. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, what I will do is I will normal summon Shmieta. Ooh, <laughs> 1800 beat stick, yo. Yes, battle phase. Yep. Attack directly. I will take 1800 direct. I am very happy about that. <laughs> I will go main phase two. Uh-huh. Said, not only one, not only two. Oh my god. Three card set. Go in three. Three sets. Okay. Oh. Cat is fine. Still in the end phase. Oh, oh, oh. What is happening? What is that? I'm going to flip Heavy Storm Duster. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, no. And target your pendulum scales. You little dick. <laughs> <laughs> I had the perfect card. Oh my god, what's that? Prideful roar and my body is a shield. Your actual two good back row. Oh my god. Yes, um, exactly. <laughs> Alright, start turn. Wait, mm. one might say this is a problem. Stand by, main. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. I shall set one. Pass. <laughs> yeah, not quite. Ah, that sad day. Special summon Green Horizon. Why, why do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> you had the knowledge. You had the knowledge. I, 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 sh I but, should have, but I really don't. <laughs> but that's not all. Oh, yeah, another be um, one because Purple I Purple Nightfall. <laughs> there we go. Because you set up your own column. I could have yeah, prevented brother. a second summon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I shall normal summon one of these two. We'll go with this one. 
Uh, what the? Okay, yeah, you got you got, <laughs> you got game one. No Twenty two hundred four star <laughs> monster. Hell yeah! Battle phase. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will attack Catty with my steroid boy. I will activate Coffee. Catty effect is fine. Ca Catty, not Kathy. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll do that to Han, and she's I think search one from deck. Any beast, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Right. I almost mailed because <laughs> reflex is kicking in, dude. <laughs> and oh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not worried about you adding alpha or anything crazy like that anymore. Because I know you don't have it. You know what? <laughs> oh, no. Are you actually going to be able to set it this time? <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. I... Hmm. Do I redeclare or do I not? I think it works out best if I just redeclare. So I will attack Schmetta with my. So I get 400 plus. Boy. Yep, you get plus 400. Hog. And then 2100 direct. And 25 direct. And 25, yeah. Well, uh, this might seem a little bad, but maybe I can return from this. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yes, with all oh, your Melfies. Des Koala. I only have one card in hand now, actually, so that's no big deal. Yeah. Nibiru, smile. Um, <laughs> ooh, wait. <clears throat> you know, I I have like one of my biggest cards in my hand, and it fucking can't out that. <laughs> can't out what? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, like twenty one hundred is just a joke. <laughs> that yeah. is just a joke. Mac Knights are All right, broken. Uh, so I will special summon Corobane. Ooh, okay. I will. Set one card. <laughs> <laughs> Going to end phase. Yeah. That's just some catty. Catty is fine. Once again. Can I end my turn or do I have this? In your end phase, I will activate Purple Nightfall. Uh, Targeting okay. himself. Okay, so that's just banished until next standby, right? Yes. Oh no. You do oh, you might draw into another. Oh no. Stop. Alright, cool. So Search for blue. Man, this. Oh, oh yeah. No, I don't Wait, want to. This deck is way too Oh, this is bad. Start turn, stand by, Nightfall comes back. Mm hmm. Mandatory, uh, by the way. Yep. That's fine. I can't summon blue, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I'm not, I really unintentionally played around the Magnite column. Yeah, <laughs> total accident. No, I really uh, did. Uh, 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 I'm gonna normal summon your arch nemesis, Twilight Swore in general. Oh, <laughs> I, I just realized I could have banished the green with purple instead to summon the blue. Oh well, I'm I'm done. Battle phase. Yes. Attack Catty with Muscle Boy. Boom. Yeah, effect is fine. Give me that free attack. I will add. That to hand. Wow. Redeclare. Wow. Oh, I should have attacked the pan uh koala with that actually. I'll attack it with green. I don't know what it is, but it's a koala. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so eight hundred damage for you, my boy. Eight hundred, damn. So close. Yes. And I totally don't lose the game right now. Twenty-five eighteen. Boom! Easy game one. Get sweeped, boy. You know, <laughs> that is the <just> root. <laughs> Round two, fight. First no, no. or second? Uh, yeah, that's actually a very good question. I, I might actually... Do I risk it for the biscuit? No, that's... going second again. Alright. This okay. is what you do. OTK me in your turn, for reasons. Okay, <laughs> this is uh, a little bit eh. That's good to hear. I will set one and pass. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is literally okay. the exact same turn as last game. Yes, but this time I'm not playing magnet columns anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 1800, oh, yeah. okay. Dark yeah. Battle phase. Yep. Attack. This is, this is legit the exact same as game one. <laughs> Go on, set three. Main phase two. Uh-huh. End phase. Oh. 
puppy. Uh huh. End. <laughs> wow. Sure. Uh, okay. I don't have anything to set. All right. Stand by, main. Uh. Ooh. I shall normal summon. Beckoned uh -huh. by the world chalice. Down. You crash now. That's sad. I'll go into the battle phase and attack puppy. Puppy effect. Yes. Turn to hand. Mm-hmm. From deck. Yeah, uh, yeah. What do I special summon though? Catty, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Catty is probably. <laughs> Redeclare. Oh, you're gonna let that die. Okay. Um. Sure. Main two. Uh, we'll go end phase and pass turn. All right. Ooh. All right. I don't like that. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that back row is actually what you're saying it is, so I don't trust you. <laughs> I didn't say but, it was anything. You know, I need to risk it. Because do I actually have a chance without risking it is the question. So I normal summon Zephyrus, the elite. Okay. Oh, you're overlaying. Boom. Oh, redoer. Um, okay. Let me, hmm. Yeah, that's kind of an issue, I suppose. I know. Uh, okay, yeah, summon's fine. Right, I would like to go in the battle phase. Battle phase is fine. An attack. Huh. Do I take the damage? Do you have anything to negate it? Or like, kill it is the question. I may have something. That's not nice to hear. I don't think I let it die. Oh, this is difficult. On attack declaration, I will flip biscuit. Targeting a redoer. Yeah, I need to chain three two or so bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna banish my boy. Okay, and I shall discard. Um, oh, I probably get rid of that, but I don't know if I want to. Uh, oh, fuck it, I'll discard Phantasme. Yo, you might regret that in the future. <laughs> I might. That I might. That's why I had to think about it. All right. So yeah. Main phase two. Yep. End phase, puppy effect, and Redoer comes back. Yeah. I think Redoer is first. No. Is he? Eh, who cares? <laughs> it all happens. Everything happens. Yep. And end phase. And then. Draw! Stand by! Love effect. Please don't get a trap. Uh, okay, that's fine. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's my back row <laughs> removal. Leave me alone. Oh my god. Main one. Started. No, I didn't. Yeah. What? No, I didn't. I don't have a side deck. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I keep forgetting we're not playing an actual deck. Okay, right. I shall start by activating Cynet Mining, discarding Majesty Maiden. I really hate everything you stand for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. That is a good card. Uh, search for Launcher Commander. Yeah, that is more my problem than the sign of mining itself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, normal Summon Launcher Commander. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate its effect, target in itself, and, well, tribute in itself, target and Redoer. You got to chain that. Chain Redoer. Ay, 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 ay. I'm going to chain to the Redoer. Well, you can. Yeah. What? I have a card in hand. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Okay, chain it. I'm going Whatever. so neck to get rid of the redoer. So the redoer is technically still in the field. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. I will chain link three offerings to the doomed. Skipping my next draw phase to finally get rid of it. <laughs> I might regret that as well, though. Well, that is unfortunate. Normal summoned commander, okay. Battle phase, attack puppy. Puppy effect? Yep. Two hand. And... 
special summoning. You know. Oh, pony. pony. Okay, I'll attack pony. Pony is adding from grave. Yes. Hmm. You have so many cards. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a moment, I need to think about this real quick. <laughs> Cause, what can I do? What is that? Oh, why are you looking at the extra deck? I don't like it. <laughs> I will... Activate the effect. Sure. And give you free damage. But I don't really mind that right now. You have seven cards in hand. Uh... And I don't get to draw either, that's so sad. I have a little bit of card advantage. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, end phase, pass turn, and I will turn off auto draw as well now. Alright, send by main. Yep. Mm. Eight cards uh, in hand. One. Sure, that's probably a Desqualla. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> end phase. Wow. Eight cards in hand, and that's all you can do. Disappointing. That's all I want to do. Just win the game. Uh, so I don't draw. No, I'll no, put don't. back auto draw. Uh, stand by main. Mm -hmm. Normal summon beefy boy. Bruh. <laughs> Pumped up with love and. Sure. Yeah, very, very, very much love. Good Battle man. phase. Yes. I'm going to kill your koala and take zero damage because I have no cards in hand. That's yeah, fine. that's what I thought. <laughs> and I shall attack Pony because you have no targets in Grave. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, it's level 2 or lower. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Cool. Main all 2. Is, you don't have Joyous. You do have Melfi Mommy, but <laughs> who cares about Mommy? <laughs> Alright. Stand by main? Yeah. Mm, think. I have two options right now, so I'm I'm deciding which one I'm going for. All right, cool. So I will link those two away. Link two for this. The, link spell. <laughs> the dumbest link monster going. Okay. And um, normal summon because I didn't do that yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> link into Berserker of the Tenny. That's so unfortunate. And then. Uh, activate hide and seek. Sure. To shuffle three back and draw one. Ooh, wow, okay, yeah. Okay, so. That. That. Is it. It's three beast monsters, so I will shuffle back Deskoala as well. Sure. Shuffle, draw. Alright, cool. Oh, no. And now I will proceed into battle phase. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Tech beefy boy. I don't like him. I will take 800 damage. And pass. Oh, wait, no, I would gain 800 damage. Never mind. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, draw for turn. Uh, stand by main. Ah, goddamn, dude. Goddamn, goddamn. Huh. I need one more body. Literally one more body. Ugh. Set one and pass. Okay, no defense position. Interesting. Um, I don't I don't want my warrior to die to like a puppy or something. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, so what could that be? That could be anything. I will normal summon my uh, like my dinosaur thingy. Sure. Velionix? I don't even know. I, I will not attempt it. <laughs> you um, put two of them in your deck. <laughs> you yeah, disappoint me. <laughs> Proceed battle phase. Yeah, battle phase is fine. I will attack your face down. Take 600, my guy. Holy sh! Yeah, Holy right? <laughs> I haven't seen that one. Alright, and then attack. attack into that. Yeah, I'll take 12. That's fine. What can I draw? I need to draw something. Main phase two, and okay, I don't want to give you a column. So if you draw into a mech knight, you're kind of screwed if I do this. <sighs> uh, 
Oh, wow. Standby, mate. Set one. Pass. All right. All right. Ooh. All right, cool. I like that one. I don't. Mm, I will. I will keep it aside though. Uh, stand by main. <laughs> sure. Battle phase. Uh huh. Do that. Do I take another four? You do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop drawing into good defense position monsters. You know, defense is the greatest offense. Just say it. Start turn. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Um, I shall set one and pass my turn. Ooh, Anything in end phase? No. Proceed. This is very scary. I will activate Mass Driver. Oh my god, see if you set up this loop. Oh, okay, go on. No, 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 it's not, it's not the loop yet. But yeah. I will activate Mass Driver effect. Sure. Tributing my uh, Elusive <laughs> thingy, and then... Ow, 400. And then I activate Kaiser Colosseum. <laughs> uh, okay. That's a thing. Two All banned right, cards then. in a row, okay. On attack declaration. Oh, what the hell do you have? Here comes the fairy box. Are you feeling lucky? If you call right again, like last time when you recorded, he called right, and I don't like it. Last time I did tails, but I'm gonna go heads this time. Hey! Yes! No! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Take 500, right? Or what? Uh, what during, was it? During oh, no. each of my standby phases. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I will go end phase. Sure. Stand by, main. Uh, oh yeah, 500, whoops. Set one, pass. All right, I think it's time. Oh no, what does that mean? <laughs> I will go stand by, main. Yeah. Mm. I will activate Melfi tag, oh summoning back the pony. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, no. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Alright, yeah. What, what do you have on summon? Is this setting up your loop? <laughs> tribute, add back, tribute, oh no. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to end this here. On the normal summon of Fenny. Oh no, what? I'll flip Duster and pop both of your banned cards. Get them out of here. I actually hate you right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is just sad. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to do that now. <laughs> I wanted to do the loop. I should have let you for the content, but hell no. I ain't going down without a fight. <laughs> All right, you take 3,000. Or do wait. I? Tails. Oh yeah, you're right. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> 3,100 damage. <laughs> um, heads. <laughs> Oh, that's every attack. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you you avoided one hundred. Great. Feels good. I can smell it. You will call right all the time now, and I will not be able to finish you off. And then you OTK me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Uh, start turn. Stand by. Pay the five hundred. Main. Um. Okay. Why do I do these things to myself? I set up two columns now. This things get interesting here. No, they don't stop. Shh. Oh <laughs> wait. Okay. I'm I forgot about that card. Hmm. It's not doing anything right now. Uh okay. I'm gonna special blue and search for two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure. Purple and green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Special purple. Uh, oh, I got the battle phase here. Okay. Purple into Fanny. 
I will on declaration. Uh huh. Dogmatica punishment. Oh, target in, target in purple. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I will chain Dynomiscus to the activation of punishment, and Jeez. then I will chain purple, banishing itself. All right. Cool and cool. Okay. So that was on the attack declaration of purple. Mm-hmm. Sure. I will attack with blue. Ooh. Okay. Nineteen hundred. Oh yeah, I'm for I, I forgot the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamiscus attacked the pony. Yes, pony, I will. yeah, okay, sure. Give me that melty bag. Yeah. Main two. Yes. Um, I'll special green. I'll pass her in there. Alright. Wait, I can just go battle phase. You could. Wait, I can BM and go battle phase. <laughs> Yo, wait, is it your standby or my standby? Until the standby phase of your next turn. Okay. Yeah, it's my standby. So yeah, we'll equip that and give it 400 back. Ooh, then... Okay, 34 with piercing. Mingo Bell. You're also Mingo. opening yourself up to an MST. Oh yes. gosh. Um, all right. No, you call wrong. If I call this right, you die. You know no, that, right? No, you call it wrong. Wait, what? You call it wrong anyway. Yeah, but if I call it right, you just. No, no, you you don't. <laughs> you don't understand. This is a prediction. This is not a prediction. This is the future. <laughs> okay, heads. Here we go. Boo! Oh shit. Got him! <laughs> Wait, is that game? That's game! That's no! Game. <laughs> Let's go game three, boys! Uh, we're actually going to a game three, god damn it. Final round. Fight! Alright, it all comes down to this. Good luck. I'm finally getting to go second, though, so uh, that's always a good thing. You too. And, uh... Ooh! Uh, what is interesting. that? Interesting. Very interesting. Do your worst. Oof, what is that? Oh, I, I break a little. Oh, okay. Cool. Good to know. Why am I not <laughs> surprised? <laughs> I don't know. It's almost like I always break <laughs> Yo. I will normal summon Bullblader and set one pass. Minotaur. Okay. Draw for turn. Stand yes. by main. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll set a little, a little monster. Alright. And two back row. And attempt to go to the end phase. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. On you go. Neither player takes damage. Also, destroy the opponent's monster. Oh my god, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's why I put it in. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so... Mm, I will attempt going battle phase. Battle phase is fine. And I will... Attack. So neither player takes battle damage. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay. No, no damage. That's fine. Lee dies. Okay. Ripley. Yep. All right. In phase two. Uh huh. End phase. End phase. Uh, yeah. Okay. And all right. Pass. Start turn. Oh, okay. Stand by main. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna set another monster. Okay. And s uh, set a back row as well. Ooh, I don't like that. End phase fine? Yeah. Go ahead. We're playing Fool Monkey. Oh, shh. All right. Um... <laughs> All right, I could risk everything, or I could just do a meme play that's even dumber. <laughs> they both don't sound like very nice options. So, I have no monsters in my graveyard, so I can special summon Petting Sister from hand. Oh, yo, okay. And I will do the haha -ha funny. Oh, you're gonna make Redoer, aren't you? No, no. That's the actual good play that is super risky, because you have three back row, right? Yeah. So, ooh. I will Tribute. Tribute summon? Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? You will see once it actually happens. <laughs> Why do you have a tribute summon 1600? <laughs> because 
think there's a way I could special summon this, but I'm actually not sure. I read something along, <laughs> like, along the lines of special summoning something. I'm not sure if it works or not. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. But it's better than 1400, dude. I upped my ATK by 200. That's broken. <laughs> wow. And I will actually activate my uh, big, big bang shot on it. So it has... 2k, damn. 2K. All right. Battle phase. Thinking, 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 thinking. Actually, why did I did do that? You have three back rolls. <laughs> <laughs> and I know one of them is like a bad card <laughs> for me. I think I just lost. Um, that's fine. Ooh. On your attack declaration. No, stop. What? What do you have? I'm gonna activate an anime card, Magical Arm Shield. No! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna take control of. I think I have to take control of this thing. Yeah. Wait. Where's control? Control. Then I attack okay. that instead. Yes. And then your thing activates, which destroys this thing. Is it mandatory? Uh, oh no, yours isn't mandatory. Thank God it's not. So I will not destroy my monster. Wait. Why did I? Uh... <laughs> Whoops. Chat. So Chat. you're <laughs> so you're taking 400 damage, correct? Yes. Sad. Hey, what are you doing? Oh wait. No, I have it until the end. Hey, of the hey, no, phase. No, no. End phase. Never mind. <laughs> wait, I just skipped the step. What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. I will just pass. Okay. So end of battle phase. That returns. Then main two, and then end phase. Correct. I mean, skipping main two, but yeah. Yeah, end phase, I'll pop your back row, which will clear your entire board. Haha, <laughs> broken! Ooh! Yeah, I knew, I knew this was a bad idea to actually equip it. Rip. I just lost the game. Who cares? Uh, start turn! Stand by main. God, imagine I, you I got... I feel like the redo or play would have been way better. <laughs> uh, potentially. Potentially. I shall... Yeah, I'll tribute summon for Amphibian Beast. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah, 2400 Red Eyes Black Dragon. Main it's, two. A, it's a Red Eye for one tribute instead of two. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, Red Eyes is level seven. seven. It's better than Red Eyes, yo. Okay. Yo, it's way better. It has Monarch, oh, almost Monarch, so it's not quite, but you know. Yeah, Labyrinth of Nightmare, Power Creep, past turn. <laughs> oh shit! All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, you love it. You love to see it. Stand by, main. Uh, I, I can't threaten you, unfortunately. What does Lee do? I'm just a dumbass sometimes. Well, he's not really doing anything. I'm gonna normal summon Tardy Orc, and this should just put you on the one turn. Clock. Bro, that's uh, <laughs> that's that's a bit of damage. Main two, end phase, fast turn. Go on. Draw your last pathetic card, Nibiru. So pathetic. He's <laughs> perfect. Normal stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, activate mass driver effect target. <laughs> Yo, not going down without a fight, huh? Oh wow, nah. Ma Mass Driver isn't cost. I can BM and stop that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I will take the 400. And Start turn, take... stand by, take... main, battle phase. See you later, Hick. Your card is mine. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I forgot you had an Imperm. I forgot you had an Imperm. Uh, it's not oh, good, though. It's not good. What was this the format. set? What was the set? was a Dynamiscus. I, okay, I, I assumed that Dynamiscus was said, and that made me think I should not summon Renewer. But then again, afterwards, I thought like, wait, I can just chain Renewer anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just that bad at the game. I mean, I, sh I should have activated it when you had two level fours on the field, but <laughs> didn't expect you to tribute someone a 1600 dinosaur. If I didn't, if I didn't fuck up with the back roll, I could have just used this again. Oh god, yeah, your stupid hand trap thing. <laughs> Dino wrestlers suck, man. They, 
<laughs> oh, also, uh, while I was editing, I noticed you pulled a jelly cannon. That card is sick. So, jelly, jelly cannon. Yeah. When a monster has an attack target, one monster on the field shuffle it. Oh, shit, it's a removal. It's <laughs> How did I not see that? <laughs> I, ju I just um, noticed it and I was like, wait, hold on. <laughs> so, you're telling me I'm actually worse than I thought. Nah, I just missed it completely. Holy. Just read forehead. Just read forehead. Yeah, All right. read every card. So, All right. I take the match win once again. Thankfully, thank God. And I get my prize card. Show me your deck, boy. I'm gonna take your best card. All right. Let's hop okay. on over to the Discord. Wow, look at this monstrosity. No material side deck. Kaiser Coliseum. <laughs> uh, Fright for Cruel Whale is a possibility, but yeah, you just didn't ever resolve that. <laughs> Dude, I had, like, every time I saw one of these, I never saw the other. That's unfortunate. So, uh, initially, in the the first time we did this, I opted to take... It was a struggle between my body as a shield and punishment, and I ended up taking the punishment. And I am going to stick to that decision. And right. I, I think I still have my explanation audio for the first time, so I'm going to cut that in here. Um... Yeah, so really, it's just an argument between removal or protection. Um, Christ. I am going to make my decision based on my bias for Yu-Gi-Oh! from scratch and take your Dogmatica punishment for the rest of the season. The punishment is mine, and I will punish you with that every episode going forward. Oh, man. Well, it was a fun duel, even though we... Uh, did know what we had in each other's deck this second time round. There were still some surprises in there. You took a game this time, so it's probably looking yeah. a little bit better for you. Just a little bit until I fucked up. <laughs> Hell yeah. And uh, maybe next time it'll be the other way around. So Dogmatica Punishment has been claimed as the first prize card of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Arena series. We had a little bit of a technical hiccup losing the first match, but I do think the second match there was also pretty entertaining. But I want to hear from you, because with this being a potential long-term series on the channel, we want to optimize it and make it as enjoyable as possible, so your feedback is crucial here. What did you like about the video? What did you not like about the video? Is there anything you would like to see added, or is there anything you would like to see taken away? I'm all ears and open to all ideas. We're not gonna have any technical issues with episode 2 and we're going to make it even better. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time. Oh my god. Come on. Oh! No! <laughs> I am going to activate Cynet Mining off the top, baby! <laughs> uh, what do I send for cost here, actually? Um, I'll I'll send my amphibian beast. Unfortunately, I dare I dare you to ash blossom. Oh yes. Please do.